So when you went to England and Vancouver, you expect to do work in Harold Pinter and Alan Akeborn and other people's plays? Is that what your expectation as a young actor? Absolutely. I mean, I had no experience. I had no idea there was such a thing as a Canadian play. I mean, I grew up in Indian Head, Saskatchewan. I knew no one who was an actor involved in the arts. I knew no one who knew anyone who was involved in the arts. We had a, the Gary Theatre, a movie theatre, and that made this a superior town to any of the towns around. All, lots of, most of the other towns didn't have a movie theatre. And it was a magical thing to have a theatre because you could go to this room when you were young, once on Saturday afternoon, when you were a little older, on Friday night, and when you were in high school, providing you had done your homework, you could go Tuesday, one day, because they had two movies a week, you could go and see two movies a week. So you'd go and sit in this totally familiar other room, as familiar as the church, as familiar as the book, you know, as the Dewdrop Cafe, and the curtain would open, because they had curtains, you know, and, and there'd be, you know, Sean Connery being James Bond. In you know, in you know, uh, the first James Bond movies got. Did that you stand up? Did they play God Save the Queen and have a picture? No, they of the didn't. Queen? They we, didn't we, we didn't do that. No, we didn't. They it's a Republican didn't. province. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Tommy Douglas for God's sake, man! It's become that. I know. I've been stabbed in the back by my own homeland, but Which we, we won't talk about be? that. Okay. Anyways, I, what I'm saying is that was my, that was my only experience, and of course I was watching. Nothing was Canadian. Nothing was Canadian. It was all American. But it's still, you know, it was still that. I mean, what you're watching on television, what you're watching? No, no television. I'm pre-television. Okay. I'm from the pre-television. Yes, you're pre-TV. I was, uh, t we had no TVs in town. So I'm talking about the movie theater. Well, Am I interrupting my mic here by folding no, my arms sorry. in a very masculine way? Um, and so when, um, and then when I went to university, I had no, I went to do, you know, English and history. I had no idea of a career or I didn't, I didn't know. I was a bit of a show off, but I didn't go in the school, you know, the school plays. I never, I don't have a history of, you know. I was, I was noted for my imitations of old Jack Wilson or somebody like that and being a sort of smart ass kid that way. Um, but when I went to university, that's when I, by chance, ended up in a play for a girl that I was interested in because she was in the theater department for her final uh, thing. She did do a one-act play and of course there was like 20 girls and two guys and they were probably gay in the, you know, in the, in the acting thing. So I auditioned for her, was in the play and one of the professors came up to me after and said, you know, you should take a class in this. I took it as a compliment at that time. It could have been. I may have. That may have been my first real big wrong turn. <laughs> the guy was really putting me down. Eh? You should get some lessons <laughs> before we come back. So I did it the next year, and that was it. I did. I was in scenes, and I did that one class. I failed. I almost failed the year. I dropped out of university, and I did it because, again, I I had some. I seemed to be able to just pretend, <laughs> you know, with great intensity. And I was, you know, Is that what you call acting, pretending with intensity? Totally. Intensity? Well, yeah, yeah. It's the courageous use of your imagination. <laughs> Anyways, um, and so, but my only model, I had a half-brother who lived in England and had been in a, he was the, in publishing and writing. And he was about 16 years older than me. He went to England for the culture. This is my, this is a very pat answer that I've got. So my older brother went to England for the culture. I then had another brother, a, whole, a full brother, who was seven, uh, five years older than me. He went to America for the money and lived in America. I stayed in Canada to build something in this country. To build something of our own. Anyway, so... It's like a cheap 19th century novel. Absolutely. My brother went to England. What do you mean cheap? Yeah, cheap? And Eric no, stayed home. Yeah, what do you mean cheap? <laughs> calls me a cheap novel. <laughs> the novel no, Yeah, okay. So, my image was when, it, you know, acting in, in Saskatoon, because I was at the University of Saskatchewan, well, I thought, I know what, I'll go to England and be an actor. It didn't occur to me to go, I didn't know the National Theatre School. I didn't know about uh, anything else. I didn't know anything about it. And because my bro brother lived there, I thought, that's a damn good idea. And I'd been fired on stories of his London life. 